Since my last video with these inverted wad cutters here, I've been asked to push them a little bit faster. Interesting thing here, I wanna test these in 357 Magnum cases with Magnum primers. Interesting thing, they won't chamber in my 686, but they'll chamber in my 605 just fine. So I think the way that these bullets line up with the overall length is a little bit too long for the 686. So I think that just the way it tapers down in, in the chambers won't fit the 686, but it will fit just fine in these cases. So I got 5.7 grains of tight group. I pushed the bullets as deep as a 158 grain uh, XTP bullet. And the, the load charge for that would be 5.4 to 6.1 grains of this tight group powder. So I got 5.7 grains. So considering it's a tight group powder, that's kind of a, a quicker burning, lower energy powder anyway. So it makes more sense to run them through the snub nose revolver. So we're going to see, I got a blowny pack up here that I've already used in a previous test, but it did not destroy the pack. So I'm going to put that up and shoot into the water jugs anyway. But first, let's see what kind of five shot average velocity we can get with these 357 mag cases. I'm going to go single action here. 943. 962. 981. 990, 967. Um, I didn't check for creep. I'm gonna do that real quick. I just wanna see if the remaining rounds are creeping forward at all. So we'll continue with this velocity average. 940, 943. They look the same to me. I'll do another one. I'll do two more and check the last. 942. 971. I'll compare that to an original here. Looks the same to me. So we're not creeping out of the cases. That's good. Let's hit the ballistic box and see how it does. We're, we're doing about uh, oh, 250 feet per second faster than in the 38 special so we'll see what it does 57 magnum inverted wad cutter see how it does in the ballistic box definitely more damage to the baloney pack for sure and we did get a lot of damage here fiberboard is stuck up in the box there so through the fiberboard here's the exit hole of that bullet here all right, first jug took out a lot of damage. It split the side of the jug, straight tra trajectory through here. We went through two, there's actually denim in two. Interesting. Impact on three and four. It looks like the trajectory is starting to go upward just a little bit. And jug four, a dent out the back, 18 inches of penetration. See what we got. And what we got here is not bad. It's not a full blown two times diameter expansion like what we see with lead bullets. But I'd say it's a little bit better because with a lead bullet, we'd probably stop in jug one, jug four. So we're getting equivalent to 18 inches of ballistics gel penetration and we're expanding out to a decent diameter. So that's what you get when you push these bullets uh, about 250 feet per second faster. Gets a little bit better, uh, but not extremely better. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.